folks, this is Sean O'Hara. He was best known as a New York Giants offensive line great, and now he is an outstanding. Look at that. Look little at bling, that. A little bling for yeah. you. A little, a little. Sounds like a lot of bling, Sean. It's a big bling. Yeah, it's a big let's, bling. Let's be honest. How do you assess the Super Bowl matchup between the Panthers and the Broncos? Um, well, it, it's two very different offenses. Um, you know, they both want to run the football, but Carolina is extremely physical. Carolina really reminds me of Seattle, who Peyton and Denver played two years ago right. in this same game. So, um, you know, for Peyton, he kind of he, he draws the, the, the short straw again with who he's going up against. Um, you know, the, the question, and I don't think anybody really thought that this would ever be a statement about a game, but really, can Peyton Manning and the Broncos' offense keep up with Carolina's offense? And, and I think that's really where the challenge is going to lie. Um, obviously, we saw Denver's defense take over the game against the Patriots, but totally different offensive mindset. Patriots threw the ball 56 times. Carolina's not going to do that. They want to run the ball 56 times. So um, it'll be a, that'll be a different matchup. Um, I really like Carolina Panthers' offensive line. I think they've been a very underrated group this season. You know. Everybody likes to talk about the quarterbacks. Nobody wants to talk about the big boys up front, but they've done a great job. Ryan Khalil is the leader Especially. in the center. Um, you know, Michael Moore has done a good job. I mean, he was um, you know, a free agent pickup that David Gettleman did a good job of, and Trey, Trey Turner has done a great job at right guard. He's one of the best right guards in the league right now. I'm one, a big football strategy guy. I even have my own playbook. But the one thing that struck me about watching the Panthers this year and I want your take on is something that's intangible. <laughs> And it's their intensity coming off the ball, particularly against the Seahawks in the first half. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything that? It reminded me of the '85 Bears. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was just yeah. the way they came off the ball. It was scary. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure that Ron had something to do with that. Um, but they're, they're in full attack mode, and, and I think that's, you know, as an offensive lineman, that's what you like. You like being aggressive. Um, and one of the reasons they're allowed to be aggressive is because. The, the runs that they are, you know, they leave the backside defense event unblocked right. a lot. They sure do. They basically take him out of the game because of the read option aspect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're getting offensive of linemen up to linebackers right now, which allows you to be very physical. Um, I think that's it's a fun offense to be in. And if I was an offensive of lineman, I, I would love that aspect of it. I love. I have a lot of technical questions for you, but you got some other uh, media people okay. here, so I'll come back to you. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Pleasure meeting you.